HP have a ProBook series of small business affordable laptops with screen sizes ranging from 13 inch, 14 inch, 15.6 inch and 17 inch. Does the 15.6 inch ProBook 450G5 with the Intel 8th gen processor have enough to beat off competition from the likes of the Lenovo E580 and the Dell Latitude 3590? Let's find out. The ProBook 450G5 at 2.1 kilograms offers clean and simplistic design. Although the main material used for the construction is plastic, the interior still incorporates brushed aluminium and the overall build quality is pretty decent. The base feels solid while the lid is made of roughened plastic imitating analysed aluminium. In addition, thanks to the smooth linear travel of the hinge opening the laptop with one hand is possible and the lid is kept firmly in place. As for the bottom, it features the same plastic material and sports two vent openings for the cool air intake. This 15.6 inch review model has a 1366 by 768 screen resolution with a matte anti-glare coating. You can tell HP have skimped over this panel as the viewing angles are poor vertically and horizontally. The brightness only goes up to 220 nits and therefore working outdoors with the 450G5 is not recommended. sRGB is rated at 45%, so don't rely on this display with colour accurate artwork like Adobe Photoshop or publishing tools. The screen opens only up to 135 degrees though. On the right of the 450G5 we have the USB 3.1 Type-C Gen 1 with power delivery and display port, two USB 3.0 ports, HDMI 1.4B, VGA, Gigabit RJ45 and AC power. On the left we have the Kensington lock, USB 2.0, Type-A, audio combo jack and an SD card reader. Wireless AC 2x2 and Bluetooth 4.2 is excellent on the 450G5 with good Wi-Fi transfer speeds. The non-backlit keyboard offers satisfactory key travel, comfortable typing experience as well as tactile feedback. The only letdown is the keys feel slightly cheap from the shiny plastic used for the keyboard. The click pad is made of glass using Microsoft Precision drivers. It works well in general use with the integrated buttons and finger gestures. The sound quality from the two integrated stereo speakers is pretty good without any noticeable distortions in the mid, low and high frequencies. The 720p HD webcam with integrated dual microphone array is okay for Skype calls or spot of video conferencing with your work colleagues. The quad-core i5-8250U is good compared to its rivals, along with 8GB of RAM and a 256GB PCIe SSD. It will handle most general tasks thrown at it, along with some light Adobe Creative Cloud jobs. The Turbo Booster 3 GHz lasts for around 30 seconds. This is turned off by default in the BIOS if you have the 450G5 running in battery mode. The Intel UHD620 is the integrated graphics found in the KB Lake refresh. It uses system memory rather than its own, so adding another additional 8GB of memory will help. Gaming is limited to basic or Windows Store games only. You can run Fortnite, but it will be slow and the frame rate tends to jerk now and again. The 450G5 has a free cell 45 watt hour battery and can be accessed only by full disassembly. There is a fast charge to 90% in 90 minutes and in general use battery life comes in at around 7 hours before you need to plug it into the wall socket. Three pros and cons before buying the HP ProBook 450G5. Good performance. For the money the 450G5 is decent even in battery mode. For a small business owner it will go through tasks like running Office 365 apps, Sage, odd social media amendments on Photoshop with ease. Plenty of connections. If you need the Swiss knife of laptops, the ProBook 450 has it all in connectivity options. Three types of display ports, VGA, HDMI and display port along with three USB ports and an Ethernet connection. Good upgrade path. If you have to upgrade the usual stuff like RAM and storage, a full disassembly isn't required. The notebook has two big surface lids giving you access to all of that. 8GB module included to a maximum of 16GB. M.2 drive can be replaced with more storage and an additional 2.5 drive is possible too. Built quality. The 450G5 is predominantly made of plastic and it shows in the flex and built quality. The display cover is flexible and the edges of the laptop could be a better fit. When reviewing this unit a dent appeared by one of the USB ports. Poor display. This review model has a poor 1366 by 768 panel with less viewing angles than the prison cell and Alcatraz. Spend the extra £100 on an IPS Full HD display instead. Bigger bulky. In today's world of slim and cool ultrabooks, the Pro ProBook 450G5 looks like the ugly sister. It's rather large for a 15.6 inch laptop and the display bezels are ungainly.
The HP ProBot 450G5 is an affordable business laptop with decent performance and good battery life. There are plenty of connectivity options including three types of display ports. The 450 stays mainly quiet and cool under load, allowing you to enjoy the semi-decent speakers. The 450 provides an excellent upgrade path for memory, faster and bigger M.2 SSD if needed, and even a secondary 2.5 drive. The downside is the cheaper built quality, the poor display panel on this review model, and the bulky look and feel. Opt for the full HP HD IPS model and the 450G5 is definitely worth a look over the competition. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ProBook 450G5 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you'd like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.